Hello gamers, happy new year! I am Instagamer and I am so glad you made it to another year on my channel with me. Before I go any further, I just want to say I'm going to be live streaming tonight. It's going to be a short, chill stream. So if you're not already, make sure you follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Instagamer. I'll have the link down below so you can just click it. And be sure to follow me and turn on notifications for when I go live um, because I might not upload a separate video for it today. I'm not sure. Like I said, it's probably just going to be a chill stream. Um, or you can follow me on Twitter, and I always post when I'm live on there. Okay, so now let's talk about my goals for this year and your goals, because I really want to hear what you guys are going to work on too. I'm going to focus mostly on my YouTube goals because they're the ones that are most visible to you. I do have some personal goals too. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a separate stream um, on Periscope covering those. So only the people who are really interested uh, can hear the stuff that's like super, super personal, you know. Um, so if you're interested in that, go follow me on Twitter. Twitter scope, wow, on Periscope. My name is Instagamer on there as well. Link will also be in the just is there a link for Periscope? I don't know. I'm new to Periscope. Just follow me on there as Instagamer. It's Instagamer everywhere. Um so I wanted to talk to you about YouTube stuff because to me this is the stuff that's the most interesting. Um, so my goals on YouTube and how I'm gonna accomplish them. So a big thing for me this year is something that I've been meaning to implement for a couple months, but life got so busy that I wasn't really able to. Um, but my social media, I want to be a lot more active on all of my social media, not just YouTube. So I'm already very active on Twitter, um, fairly active on Twitch, not as active as I should be on Facebook. I need to be more active there. Um, and I really need to step up my game on Vine and Periscope are the big ones. Instagram, I just don't really care about growing a following for because I'm not going to be like, eh, here's my sexy photos. I just, as much as people like to think I'm a boob tuber, I'm not all about looking sexy for pictures or video, as you could tell. <laughs> um, but uh, so I don't know if I do anything on Instagram, I actually thought of maybe doing a pun a day. Um, so maybe I'll do something like that, but it wouldn't be like your standard, oh, I'm so beautiful type of Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm not in my early 20s anymore. I'm over that sort of stuff. But anyway, moving on. For streaming, um, I already said I'm going to be live streaming later today. And for tomorrow and Sunday, I'm going to be streaming at 6 p.m. Eastern time as well. My goal for streaming is to try to stream a lot more. I've been wanting to, but unless I have a schedule, I tend to not do it because it just gets later and later in the day. And before I know it, I haven't streamed. So my plan time is going to be 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm like taking huge breaths because I'm so excited trying to say everything. Um, but 6 p.m. Eastern time is going to be my new target time. I don't have my schedule yet for the next few weeks because I have a dentist appointment on Monday and I don't know if like if I end up needing a root canal, I might not be able to stream for like a week because that's that's just the way the wind blows, you know. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to if I can. So always, like I said, follow me on Twitch and follow me on Twitter so that you can see when I'm live streaming because I try to make videos for it on YouTube, but I don't do that all the time. The next thing is the type of videos you're seeing on my channel. Now, I'm going to go over a super brief history of my channel. Again, like I said, this will be really interesting for people who are into YouTube. If not, you can fast forward a bit through this video, I guess. Um, but I assume most of you are interested in this stuff because you watch my channel. So, <laughs> so when I first started my channel, I was posting two videos a day and my channel was growing exponentially for factors unrelated to my videos, really. Um, but I was posting two videos a day. I was just doing straight Let's Plays of The Sims and The Forest. So an indie game and a regular game that had just come out. And I was loving that. It was also super, super ridiculously easy content to produce. There wasn't much editing. So it made it very simple. Then around, I don't know, somewhere around April or May last year, I switched completely 
uh, from doing just straight let's plays and the occasional short funny video, I switched to just really focusing on short funny videos, except for like Telltale games and Life is Strange and the episodic video games I had already been doing. So I switched and I the biggest change I made was deciding to not produce content daily anymore. And at first I switched to every other day and eventually because the days lined up different every week, I just settled on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for new videos. And that was the best change I ever made for my channel, going to shorter, funnier videos and uh, sticking on that schedule of not doing it every day was the best thing I could have possibly done. My channel started growing again after I had stepped away from it. It really kickstarted my channel again. And now it's time for another change. So. From from when I first started my channel, my goal was to, like the way I planned on growing, you have a strategy for everything with YouTube. My strategy to grow, I'm just looking at the time because this is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna go through it kind of quickly, but um, my strategy to grow was always posting videos that people would wanna share with their friends. And there's really two ways to grow on YouTube. You either grow through people sharing your content hence all the cute kitten videos and stuff, or by people finding you through YouTube search. These are the ways you grow on YouTube. YouTube search or YouTube's algorithms that promote you as recommended videos or suggested videos or anything like that. So slowly I've been moving more towards growing by search. So the short funny videos kind of stopped if they weren't games that people weren't searching for. And I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that. And I've been focusing more on being, you know, like the first person to get certain types of content published or focusing on stuff I knew people would search for and that has drastically drastically like hugely changed the way my channel is and my numbers and I'm actually going to show you right now because I know some people are going to be really curious about this here we are in my analytics and these are my total views for the last 28 days which are pretty good considering I didn't even post a video for like two weeks during finals so 128,000 let's call it views for the last 28 days now check out how many views were from my subscribers your jaw is gonna drop just take a second and take a guess you can even write your guess in the comments below I'd love to see what you guys guess here's the number of views that are from my subscribers what? 14,000. 14,000 out of 128,000. That is 11%. Only 11% of all of my channel views come from subscribers. It's crazy, right? So 114,000 views are not from my subscribers. So seriously, 100,000 views were not from my subscribers. That is nuts. So why am I showing you this? Well, those short funny videos, as great as they are, they get the most views from my subscribers, but if you're not sharing them, they're not the type of content that's sustainable for me to produce for my channel, especially since those short funny videos take me so, so, so many hours to edit. So um, a part of the changes to these numbers are on purpose in the sense that I've cultivated that change. I, for the past few months, have really shifted my strategy towards search and this has been the result. It's really paid off and it's helped my channel grow at a much more sustainable rate. This is awesome in the sense that it frees up a lot of time because if I don't have to spend time promoting my channel, that means I can actually spend time doing things like streaming and on my other social media because YouTube is now promoting my channel. So my channel's finally hit that threshold where YouTube is doing the promoting for me. Now I just need to produce more of the kinds of videos that YouTube will promote. So that's where I'm at. And I'm mentioning this so that if you see videos like, you've seen some of them, like the one I did the best cheat for that cooking fever game and uh, videos that are like strategy on certain things or specific reaction videos, like my reaction to the ending of Minecraft episode four. Um, those are geared towards search. That's why I produce them and that's why they grow so quickly. And so like sometimes if you see me posting videos off my schedule days, like on Tuesday because a new episode of a Telltale game came out, that's why. It's because the sooner you get it posted, the better your chance to rank in search, which brings new people to the channel who then subscribe and stick around for more. 
So it's a change in strategy and um, it's a change, it's a direction I'm gonna keep going in. I'm always gonna be producing stuff that I think you guys will like, but I have to ask that if you're liking them, you share it. You have to share it. You have to leave likes on the video. You have to comment. You have to do stuff that lets me know you like it because if people are letting me know they like other types of videos, then I'm gonna be producing those. So if you like a certain thing, you've gotta let me know. You know, I'm always looking for your feedback because my channel is here for you. And the last thing I'm going to say, because this is getting really long and I'm going to do a separate video on it eventually probably, is I'm actually going to, I think, create two separate channels, <laughs> believe it or not. And these are just fun channels for me. One is going to be a reaction channel where I will be posting at least daily, if not more than daily, of videos of me reacting to things that I find funny or that I enjoy and that I think that you guys will like. So I'll essentially be curating all this funny, awesome content in one place and you'll be watching it with a friend, seeing my reactions to it. And you could even film your reactions to it and share it to me on Twitter and stuff like that or on YouTube, however you choose to share or Facebook. And uh, I think that'll be really fun. I have a really long and interesting opinion on reaction videos. And I'm not sure if this will be a straight reaction video channel or even a parody um, of reaction video channels, but it's something I think I'm going to do just for shits and giggles, really, because I really want to try it. And the other type of channel I might do is a really relaxing gaming channel. So this would be games like The Forest on Vegan Mode and Subnautica and um, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and The Sims and quiet games where I'm talking like more quietly and it's really relaxed and chill. Like if you watch my Subnautica series, it's what's of it on my channel. It's really relaxed and chill. And I would be making those videos every day too so that like at the end of the day, people can just come there and unwind. And it might be a bit of ASMR as well, now that I have a good mic that can handle it. And with that said, there's so much more I've wanted to say. I want to say, like, guys, I've had so much going through my head and stuff that I'm working on that I've wanted to share with you. And basically what it comes down to is that my channel is growing so well on its own. I can focus more on the content itself that I produce instead of having to promote it. And I can focus more on other social media too. And all of this stuff that I do is ultimately going to come back to this channel because this channel is my home base and help it grow. So um, I would love to hear your thoughts on what I've mentioned, especially the other channels I'm considering, like a reaction channel and a calm gaming channel. I'm legit thinking like the Bob Ross of gaming, you know, it's going to be chill, really chill and relaxing like videos that and that channel will probably have no face cam too it's legit just gonna be calm relaxing voice and stuff you know so let me know what you guys think of that and let me know what your goals are for the new year I'm so curious to see and as soon as I get this video edited and uploaded I'm gonna be live streaming so I'm not sure what time that's gonna be but again follow me on twitch and check my twitter so you know when I'm live and uh yeah, I'm going to stop talking now so I can go live stream and get this edited first. Happy New Year to all of you, and I hope you're all able to reach your goals. This is a fresh start for everybody, and I'm not big on thinking of it as a huge fresh start, but if you just break it down into what can you do every day to help you reach your goal, make sure you're doing one thing every day that brings you closer to where you want to be. That's my ultimate goal for this year. So I'll see you guys later at the live stream on Twitch. Bye!